Alright guys, so we're back with some more Soul Calibur 6 and we are still continuing on the Chronicles of Story mode and this time we're going to be checking out Kilik's background story and it looks like chapter 1 is going to be covering Edge Master's teachings and we'll see what happens in this chapter. So it's kind of interesting because as you play the individual character story it kind of it kind of differs from it's kind of different from the main story because in a way because you got some events taking place in the in, in that specific timeline. So like let's see, let's go back to the timeline menu. So right now, let's see, so pretty much this is like after after the his temple got possessed and then he got visited by the edge master guy here. And then we move on here, that's when I guess that's when Edge Master starts teaching him all this kind of stuff. So it's kind of interesting. So it's like Mr. Guru too, see? See, I pretty much beat all the story mode mission here. This is the main story. And Mr. Guru storyline goes beyond the main story. So it's kind of interesting how this little timeline works. But we're going to check out Kilix to see what his story is about. So other than that guys, let's get this started. There was once a martial arts temple known as Ling Sheng Su. Though the temple had a long and prosperous history, it would take only one night for it to be reduced to ruins. The sole survivor was a man named Killick. Training under the old man known as Edge Master, he worked hard learning secret techniques for resisting the cursed sword Soul Edge in preparation for one final battle. You have become better at controlling yourself. However, you still have much to learn. What more can I do? Balance is crucial. If evil pushes, pull. And if it pulls, push. By maintaining balance, you can achieve peace, even with the evil inside you. You must master that technique to its utmost limit. Then you can simply be you, without the assistance of Devapara Yuga. Yes, Master. Kilik, continue to train with all your might. You only get what you put in. If you give everything to your training, it will give you everything you seek in return. Yes, Master. Already, we're in chapter 2. It's like the main story again, where it's just cutscenes and then blah, next chapter. <laughs> Alright, chapter 2, Fighting the Evil Within. With Edge Master's words carved into his mind, Killick continued with his welding training regime. Even after he had begun his journey, sometimes while training, he would reflect upon the lessons his master has taught him. Keep your eye on the enemy before you while controlling the evil within you. Is that really possible? The Devapara Yuga is the only thing that keeps the evil within me at bay. So what will happen when I lose its support? That could happen at any time without warning. When it comes down to it, if I go in too hard, I could lose control. Maybe that is what Master was trying to say. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Again? <laughs> oh my god. Now this is just, I call it lazy. They could have really easily included this in the main story, but no. Added a killer side story, and there we go. <laughs> Two chapters in already, we're in chapter 3 with no action. Alright, let's start with chapter 3. Trainer with Maxi. With Maxi joining him on his journey, Killick remembered what it was like to live alongside someone for the first time in a long while. To Killick, training every day came as natural to him as breathing, but Maxi looked at Killick as if he had never seen anything like it. Hey, <laughs> meditating again? Yeah, it's part of my daily routine. Ever the hard worker. Perhaps it's not enough. I have to be able to control myself. 
without Devapara Yuga. Sure, you've got a load to carry, but still. I just feel like I'm on the verge of something. Well, maybe you should test your skills in a real fight for a change. You don't mind? Of course not. But be warned, I don't plan on losing. Yes, yeah, old Maxi. He's like, yeah, we'll fight. But I don't like losing, so I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> one. All right, let's go. Fight. Oh, he's fast moving. Woo! I forgot about Maxi. Yeah, when the, when the AI plays him, it's like God you like. But when I play as Maxi, I can't do shit. Ooh! There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I do like playing skills though. Get out of my face. Ooh! That's nasty. Oh, that's bull crap. Ooh! That trick though. Stay down. Yeah, I always like playing as Killer. Like, Soul Calibur 5, if you guys have been in Soul Calibur 5, I don't know what happened with the control and the movement system, but it was god awful. You guys remember Pachuckles, right? How awful his moveset is. It's like, yeah, he, with, the, with the right hands, he could be pretty good, but for beginners, it's just. Ugh. It's this bull crap. Like me, I don't like playing as Patroclus. Pira, I think she plays okay. I would rather play as Pira than freaking Patroclus. Patroclus is ugh. See if we can complicate it. And then you got another Patroclus too. Patroclus Alpha. That one's even worse. The boot set for that one. It's just, ugh. Pretty much the only way to play that style is to pretty much spam the same move. There's no other way around it. Ooh. Hey. So yeah, I don't know what give, I don't know who was in charge of Soul Calibur Season uh, Five, but it was awful. I'm glad that the that the control system is back to Soul Calibur Four, Soul Calibur Two style. Woo! Here we go. All right. <laughs> Looking good. Your attacks feel a little rough, though. I see. What could I be doing wrong? Well, attacking's not about pushing against your opponent all the time. You fight as if you're not coming out of it alive. So I'm pushing too much? I see. Yeah, if you've got something you want to protect, you've all got to survive. Hey, are you even listening? <sighs> you need to think about not thinking too much. Chapter 4 is training with Shang Hua. Ever since Shang Hua joined the expedition, Killick was able to practice a Ling Shin Su fighting style. As he spelled with her, he couldn't help but be reminded of Shan Lin, and his feelings grew ever more complicated. So, it's pretty much, see, like I said, in the main story where I met Shang Hua, in this chapter we're training with her, so I guess it adds a little bit of small gaps in the story and the journey. We we'll probably, probably get to find out if Maxi survived for his encounter with Astaroth. Wouldn't doubt about it. So this is the Ling Shang Su fighting style. Yeah, I mean I'm not too familiar with swordsmanship, but okay. How about we have a little practice fight? My pleasure. Thanks. Battle one. Fight. There we go. There we go, Shang Hua. Show me your moves. Hey, I love that. Ooh, wow, that's nasty. Ooh, got me there. Yes, I, I know Killer does. He def. Ooh, ooh, stop juking me. I don't appreciate when you juke me that. Ooh, oh, ooh. Wow. Don't say it's great when I'm smacking you to death. <laughs> Jeez. That's a little bit a weird way of saying, ooh, that felt good. <laughs> ooh. Ah, my back. Ah. Here we go. Can we make this? Yes. 
Yeah, the thing about Shang Hua, she is very fast, as you can see there. She's very fast, and she, she can definitely juke. So you gotta be careful when you find Shang Hua players. There we go. Hit with the big one. Oh, what? No way. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's gonna be more. Uh oh. I don't think she didn't like that. <laughs> Ooh. So good, man, to move that. Ooh. Did not expect that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Nice. Still, I think I know how to handle you. You mean I'm leaving myself open? How so? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just, you seemed to hold back when you had the opportunity to strike. Were you going easy on me because I'm a girl? Okay, so even though the balance between push and pull is important, sometimes I need to push. I need to be able to make that judgment. I'm gonna make this work. A strong resolve makes for one whom people can rely upon. Killick, are you even listening to me? <sighs> but still. Hello? Come on, Maxie, tell him. Once he's lost in thought, he's gone. But that's just. just rude. I guess he just has that much focus. If only he had someone to look after him. Right? Hold on! It's not like that! <laughs> ooh, 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 getting cheeky here. Alright, Chapter 5 The Trail of Venture Fort. With the cooperation of Maxi and Shang Hua, Killer's Trail was beginning to produce results. However, it was still unclear whether he could use his abilities confidently in a real battle. Tension real in his gut as the fight he had been training for grew nearer. Oh, lizard man! Whoa! Oh, lizard <laughs> freaks! <laughs> These things are so creepy! Lizard man! Don't fret! You can do this! Bunch of random lizard men say, hey, what's up, buddy? Don't mind if I crash the party! <laughs> Alright. Alright, find more lizard man again. Fine for me. Ooh! A lot of damage. Bye! Oh, <laughs> did not notice wing out was in place. Alright, so we got two more lizard man to fight. Ooh, big boy. Got to kill a big boy here. Easily messed me up. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, I wasn't showing up, Mr. Lizard Man. <laughs> Alright. Getting hiccups, not good. Ugh. Oh, look at this Lizard Man here. Is that, is that Lizard Man's finest hour? Or is that Sofitia? I'm not entirely sure. That looks almost like. That almost looks like Lizard Man style. How come it is? Yeah, that is Lizard Man style. What the fuck? It's in the game, and yet we can't use it. Ooh, that was a nice one. Dude. It's in the game, and yet we can't use it. What the shit? Ooh. Hey. Bye. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that is clearly Lizard Man style, but it's not in the game. Like, what the heck? Come on, damn go. The final battle draws near. I can feel it. Don't worry. Your training's been paying off lately, right? Yes, but who knows what will happen now that it matters. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. You're not alone here. I know. I'm grateful. I think we make a great team. Damn right we do. No one stands a chance against us. Okay. Let's go. Whatever lies ahead, stay strong.
Well, that is the end for Kilix chapter. The warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the take very a fibers little of history. screenshot here. Don't mind that. <laughs> Taking that picture. <laughs> All right. So his is a lot shorter than everybody else. He only has five, which is kind of surprising. And we still got soul points. That's good. We need that soul points to buy cosmetics. Like, luckily I played the story mode, that gave us 2,000, I was like, holy shit. Alright, so that was a little bit shorter than expected. Alright, so that is Killick's story in Chronicles of Souls. Next one, we'll be checking out Maxi and Shangwa. I'm pretty really curious on checking out the new character, like, uh, Guaf, and let's see, Geralt especially. Let's see how he fits into the Soul Calibur universe. But other than that, guys, that's gonna be it today for Killick's story. So stay tuned for Maxi as well as Shang Hua's storyline for the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys didn't, hit the dislike button. It's all up to you. And if you guys want to see more Soul Calibur content or any other game you want to suggest for me to play, leave in the comments down below and I'll check them out. But yeah guys, I told you. See you in the next one. Peace.